I'm very greatly honored to be here to join the Methodist Church in Nigeria, and in particular, the Methodist Archdiocese of Abuja, family and friends, in felicitating today with your grace and your wife, Mrs. Mokwilola Akinwale, on the occasion of your formal enthronement as the Methodist Archbishop of Abuja Archdiocese. I'm especially pleased to be here, and I, and I think you have mentioned already, to fulfill a promise that I made to your grace on the occasion of a courtesy call that you paid on me on the 19th of January, 2023, that I would, by the grace of God, be honored to attend your enthronement today. I'm grateful to the Almighty God that I'm able to fulfill that promise. This enthronement is an affirmation of your lifetime of devotion to God and continuous good works in his vineyard. It is also a celebration of the journey of consecration that you commenced 39 years ago in December of 1984 as a cadet minister in the Methodist Church. By dodged commitment to excellence spiritual devotion and scholarly development, both locally and internationally. You have, and ultimately by the grace of God, you have risen through the ranks in the Methodist Church of Nigeria, from a cadet minister to Prebister in 1995, serving in Lagos and later Kaduna, and subsequently Synod Secretary of the Diocese, and also the Archdiocesan Secretary, you were thereafter elected third, third Bishop of the Diocese of Badagri. And it was while your grace was in Badagri that you established, in collaboration with your amiable wife, a nursery and primary school for the diocese, which remains until this day a source of income for the diocese. You also served as Bishop in the diocese of Agudi and Remo. In this journey of amazing grace, you have stuck to the core duty that Christ has called us to, which is the propagation of the gospel of Christ by the creation and adoption of evangelism opportunities. And I'm so glad to hear today, as you read your own pledge, that one of the, that the perhaps the most important thing that God spoke to you about is aggressive evangelism. You were appointed the secretary of the conference, the Methodist Church Nigeria, in 2016. The overall governing body of the church, a position which you held until this preferment as the new Archbishop of Abuja. And there is no doubt that your elevation to the position of Archbishop is in good part a recognition of your exceptional spiritual and administrative service as secretary of the conference from 2016 to 2020, 2022. Indeed, as the apostle Paul recommended in 1 Timothy 5:17, the elders who direct the affairs of the church, who do so well, are worthy of double honor, especially those whose work is preaching and teaching. As His Eminence, the Prelate of the Methodist Church, Nigeria, sat you on the throne, I knew that you were not blinded by the pomp and pageantry of this great occasion, but that you see this as a call to the service of God and man and a responsibility of awful moment in our troubled country and our troubled world. Indeed, the office means that your voice must be heard and your leadership seen where there is injustice, where there is deprivation or lack. The high call of service to the gospel of Jesus Christ is a ministry to all, whether they be amongst the membership of the Methodist Church or even those of other denominations and beliefs. For indeed, as scripture says, God so loved the world. The world meaning men and women 
who belong even to other faiths, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. As I conclude, I observed in your profile that we have quite a few things in common. First, you participated in your secondary school days in the Lagos State Schools debate competition. I also did. Unfortunately, we did not uh, come across each other. I wonder who would have won. <laughs> you also studied at the University of Lagos. I also did. The only difference is that unlike you, I did not win the prize of the Vice Chancellor's Award as the best academic student in my faculty. Your Grace won that award for the Faculty of Education. <laughs> Second, you served in Remo, where I, from where I hail. And between 1996 and February 1998, you established preaching stations at Ademola Street in Ekoi, a street where I also started and pastored the RCCG Jesus Center Ekoi. And of course, finally, you are here as Archbishop in the seat of government in Abuja, where I serve as Vice President. Again, again, I congratulate you, the Most Reverend Dr. Michael O. Akinwale, the brand new Methodist Archbishop of Abuja. I also congratulate the new Methodist Archbishop Archdiocesan, lay president of Abuja, AVM Coyote Beckley retired, KJW. I also congratulate, I also congratulate the prelate of the Methodist Church Nigeria, Dr. Oliver Aliaba JP, and all the eminences, prelates, and meriti that God has given you life and health to see the progress and advancement of the ministry that he has given you, the Methodist Church in Nigeria. Your grace, I pray, that this enthronement would release fresh oil of grace and influence for far greater achievements in the Archdiocese of Abuja in Nigeria and across the globe. May you always find joy and satisfaction in your ministry, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir.